Hello and welcome to the fifth video in our plywood mangrove fish tank series. In today's video we're carrying on with our PVC mangroves that we made in the last video that you can see by clicking on the link on the screen. To finish off our mangroves we're going to paint them to more closely resemble the real thing and then we're going to coat them to make them safe for the aquarium. So to start off the paint job, we need to give the entire piece an undercoat of black acrylic which will act as our base coat for the rest of the paint job to sit on top of. You need to make sure to cover every inch of the mangroves with black paint to leave none of the resin showing through in order to make the following coats of paint adhere properly. After waiting for the black paint to dry, we can move on to painting the first layer of brown on the mangroves. You need to make sure that the paint isn't too heavy on your brush as we want to pick out the raised parts of the mangroves and leave more of the black showing through in the recesses to give a nice textured effect that will be brought out even more with the last layer of paint. For the final layer, we want to use a lighter brown than we did for the main coat. If you don't have a separate lighter brown, then you can simply mix white paint into the original brown paint until you get the desired colour. Now we're going to dry brush the final layer onto the mangroves by dipping the brush into the paint and then brushing it off onto some tissue or similar to remove as much as possible from the brush, leaving just enough to apply a light coat when brushed against the mangroves. Focus mainly on the top parts of the mangroves, where the light would hit naturally for where you are highlighting the roots until you've covered the tops of all the roots. Finally, when the last layer of paint has dried, we're going to seal everything with a coat of Pond Armour, just like we did when we waterproofed the main tank. This will ensure that nothing leaks away into the water of the aquarium, and will make sure that none of the paint gets worn away. Make sure to mix the Pond Armour according to the instructions that come with it, and give the entire mangrove piece a good covering. Make sure not to leave any gaps and give extra attention to the ends of the pipes where you need to cover the inside as well as the exterior of the pipes.
When the pond armor is cured, then the mangroves are complete. You can place them into your tank for your fish to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see the rest of the build, then make sure you subscribe to see the finished tank and more projects like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.